Hey and welcome back everybody to the long-awaited Flash Trash episode 31 with Risk Subway Escape with your host as always Madurai Bren, returning special guest co-host Brandon Warzero. Hey. So, um, I don't know anything about this game either then, I would assume it's plain click escape. Any words before we get started, Brandon? Um, you said special guest co-host and I think that's hilarious that you say it every time. I've been saying it every time for two and a half years now. <laughs> no, I just think it's funny considering I'm always in flash trash. Well, that's why I love saying it is because uh, much we both grew up on Clone High, and every time it was a special episode, that's and that's true. why I do it. That's true. All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I saw this during the sound test. This is it terrifies me to my very core. The chocolate, the chocolate play button. Uh, that's chocolate.com. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the name of that before. It's chocolate.com. Yeah. And it's a Flash game site. I think so. Jesus. Bad domain name. Speaking of bad, <laughs> this fire. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's on fire there? I think it's some wood. It looks like a campfire to me. Risk subway escape. I want to know about. Yeah. It's not very interesting. That's not very interesting at all. Wait, is that an email? Oh, uh, yes, it was an email. Yeah, you can pause and look at that if you want to. Something happened while I was in the subway. All the people disappeared. Much like the volume needs to, because now the song <laughs> is getting loud. <laughs> All the people disappeared. Frightening sounds come from the tunnels. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. Now, something tells me it's... Jesus, the music just gets louder and louder. I thought I did a good sound test. Uh, so is this going to be as scary as Silent Hill 3, or is it going to be not scary at all? No um, items in your bag. Why is my backpack bleeding? I don't know. Well, there's so, a man, so I guess not everyone disappeared. Um, so this game has a lot of things you can click on that you just wouldn't think you can. Like the med, the first aid kit that was just there. Okay, so I'm going to... So this has a battle system, then. Unless I'm just going to use the scissors from the first aid kit to put on a crowbar and then open a can of pickles with to solve a puzzle, because these games. Now, do you know if the tab... <laughs> hey, look, another man! <laughs> you found a fire extinguisher. Now, Brandon, you live in the same universe as me, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, can you confirm for me that a fire extinguisher would not fit in a backpack? <laughs> Yes, I can. Okay, just making sure that... Unless it was know, a pocket fire extinguisher? Like the one in the Comtech lab? The really small one? Yeah. Oh, hey, look, a man. You found a cross. <laughs> well, now I've got the power of the big JC in the sky on my side. Also, this man has tits. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I can't look at the map? Is that a crowbar? His... It's, a, it's a metal stick. I can use it as a brush. Can I not use it as a cudgel? <laughs> no, you can use it as a brush. A cross on a chain. Well, it doesn't tell me the use of the cross. An well, ordinary fire extinguisher. Kit. And it is definitely <laughs> needed. Oh, uh, that's the first aid fire extinguisher... A uh, fire extinguish cross stick? All the words are overlapping in your inventory. Oh, I didn't <laughs> notice. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> 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 It's kind of like the uh, the auto cleaning garbage can. Yeah. Man, why wouldn't we invented that yet? Uh, I guess I can't pry the the door with a brush stick. No, my first thought didn't work either. Was that my, your first thought? My first thought? thought was that you could bash it in with the fire extinguisher. Well, no, you can't use it on that fire. Well, <laughs> there's an arrow here that's really hard to see. Can I paddle his ass? Oh. Okay, if you didn't point that out, I'd never find it. Oh, and he has leaped backwards out of the back of the window over here. <laughs> There's shit that's in this this part of the area that I didn't see at all. Well, I like found that a crowbar. crowbar. Oh, oh, wow, that gun was hard to see. So did yeah. he commit suicide? Because why is the blood over here? And the uh, blast pattern is that way. So how does body end up over here? <laughs> he dragged himself away. Is that kid alive? And is, it, is he in a wheelchair? <laughs> Congratulations. No, no, the doors are closed. I can't let him be Batman! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! No! 
He kind of looks like Bruce Wayne as a kid, do. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> yep. Um. Okay. No, you can't. You can't use that door yet. Have Have you accepted the Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? <laughs> There's a huge train accident. A Jehovah's Witness comes up <laughs> to the train. Do do do. Have you accepted Jesus into your life? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute there's tits man and if I go to the right there's tits man oh whoa, oh okay I thought I went here I'll not get it <laughs> you defined bastard I'm guessing the brush gets it I don't want to I don't want to well crowbar no, no? I guess I can't it. reach it Nope. The power of Jesus Christ? <laughs> no. Screen got dark. A loaded gun! Uh, <laughs> can I resurrect him? No, he was already wearing the chain. Oh, yeah, you're right. Titsman was wearing the, the chain. It's you off go the, to the chain! You have to go to the front of the train. Um, I thought I already... Oh, no. I'm sorry. I, I can't see these fucking arrows. Okay, I'm gonna guess a crowbar here. Yeah! Did that use up my crowbar? Yeah. I feel like I should have kept that. Your crowbar's broken now. Uh, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything here, because this game's pretty bad about that. Doors open. Doors opened. I like that that's, a, that's what it says. I think doors... that's what my character said. <laughs> no, 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 but it just says doors open on the button. <gasps> the dog's gonna kill him! <laughs> you, you uh, uh, that kid's leg is that kid's leg is stripped of flesh. The dog stripped all the flesh from his leg. <laughs> well, Shoot kid, this isn't gonna get any easier. You might as well just sign out now. And everyone else is dead. I'll just pray this leg better. <laughs> okay, first aid kit. Dog, administer first aid. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm having way more fun than the game should be. <laughs> Let me just... There you go. And uh, now, I don't nice know about you, ankles. Brandon, but I've had my share of wounds as a kid, and I've once had all of the skin stripped for my right knee. And let me tell you, if One you simply too. cover that in bandages and gauze, your skin grows through it. When I was but a wee lad of nine years old, I once had to rip a bandage off of my knee as my skin had woven through it. Ow. So, I can tell you, that bandage is a horrible idea. Actually, that bandage wouldn't even be able to stay on. Like, there'd be blood all over it. it yeah. Would be, by now, there'd be blood all over that it. That would so be basically a sock sleeve. <laughs> yeah. Also, he's got girl ankles. He does have pretty girly ankles and no socks. W what? <laughs> well, one, the dog is smaller than the gun. Two, I just put a dog in my backpack. He's okay You're... with this. Sick him, you... boy! You put a dog in your bloody backpack. A dog can climb anywhere. Hint, hint. What is this, Yahoo Answers? <laughs> no, it can't. A dog can climb anywhere. That's your hint. What the f- <laughs> no, no, you gotta leave this area. This isn't where you're supposed to be right now. It's a ghost. Oh my god. And there's a giant spider monster. Okay, no, no, you gotta turn around. This game took a weird turn. Can I... Jeez, the power of Christ compels you. I'm a fucking <laughs> wizard. <laughs> so scary. How, How should I kill, kill it? it? Oh my god. You can't just <laughs> tell me it's... Hit it! <laughs> dog! Beat with a stick. I want to see the dog just get eaten. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> I must have shot a big fucking... Is this Mega Man? Did my bullet stop on him? And then it evaporated into a health capsule? Uh, so you're still going the wrong way. You have to go back. But... I need a key. Oh, the dog can... Climb anywhere. <laughs> the dog can climb anywhere. Okay, so did that kid get his get the flesh stripped off his leg by a giant spider and a ghost? <laughs> I guess. You know, we've seen some hilariously dumb and convenient things in these games before, 
but a dog just being a friendly dog. No, no, I'm just gonna say, if I was in a train car with a giant spider and a ghost, I would be fucking out of there in a flash. Oh god, uh, yeah, I would not confront that. <laughs> I'd but... be like, a giant fucking spider and a ghost? I'd like throw the cross at the ghost, it would go through and hit the spider. Well, the game takes place in Australia, Brandon. <laughs> Oh, so they're just used to that? Yeah, it's a ghost of one of the many natives they killed, and that's just a regular Australian train spider. Someone just goes into their house and they're like, oh look, there's the spider. Um, you have to go back. Uh, I think you need that pool of blood? Some blood. <laughs> Did I put it in my backpack? For your stick. There you go. You now have a bloody stick! <laughs> Am I gonna draw an inverted <laughs> pentagram in goat's blood or what? You don't even know what kind of blood that is. Um. You have to go oh, right this way. way. It doesn't give me a fucking arrow. I hate that. No. Closed. I need a key. Let me unlock it. I'll pick the lock with my bloody stick. Bam! The door's open. Oh shit, yes. there are ghosts. I'll beat and them a with my stick. Girl. No, you can't beat them with your stick. You have to do something else with your stick. Ghosts won't let me pass. Have you tried talking to them? Not finished pentagram. That's my concern. Finish it. Finish the How pentagram. How did I finish it under the body? Wow, it worked. <sighs> Apparently okay. that box is the next room. Here's the first puzzle in this game. Right there. Are you telling me the dog wasn't a puzzle? Uh, fuck. It's the box with the wires on it. But can I, uh... Oh, I thought I had to move those cables around. Okay. It's the simplest puzzle ever. Whoa! whoa what I, kind of mystical powers am I dealing with? <laughs> all you have to do is turn the wires until they're all connected. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Ta-da! Now the electricity turned off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> so connecting the wires turned the electricity off. Yes. Well, I find that only slightly more absurd than the giant spider and ghosts. <laughs> Late at the end of the tunnel. You, you win. win! Where am I? <laughs> Play chocolate! <laughs> <laughs> Tasty free online games. Play chocolate.com Jesus! Three out of three out of five. So that's a solid. Uh, what's um, six out of six ten? Out of 10. Uh, something happened while I was in the subway, and all the people disappeared. Oh, you already told me that. Use your mouse and point and click. Oh, I didn't get it. The <laughs> most recent review was from August of 2013. Wow. In one moment, I need a hint by quick see by movement of cursor in walkthrough because I stuck and can't figure out how to defeat spider. I didn't have gun I didn't find gun merged with the ground next to guy to, <laughs> to guy and door of second train. Oops, sorry. Next time do longer hashtag play chocolate. Fuck. Is English your fourth language? <laughs> I'm, what I'm, was that? <laughs> I'm happy that this game is the first one with a comment that has a hashtag in it. We've never seen that, have we? Nope. So you leave the kid to die in the subway after <laughs> losing his dog? That's a good point. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. I, w I, I assumed it was just a, s a random dog. <laughs> uh. Boy, fetch me those keys. Arf, arf. He gets you the keys and then you lose him. He's gone. I thought it was a great game. I really like the music and the background. The next time, it make it a bit longer and make more monster. <laughs> make more monster. <laughs> next time, put more Australian spiders in the train. Yeah. I appreciate the background music and the photographic layout, although people looked a bit stiff. Pardon the pun. They were dead. What's the pun? Um, they did he find? Raging I was gonna say, did he find this game erotic? <laughs> did he see the corpse of that woman and think, "Hmm, Coventry"? 
No, the Co- Coventry. She, uh, yeah, but like she it. looks like an animal. But she's not a horse. Well, did you roll her over and check her face? She had a horse mask on. That's just a mask. Brandon, you didn't check the developer notes. I. She's a did. horse. She. She's a horse in disguise. I kept missing it because I thought I had already used the arrow. Yeah, that. If I have any serious problem with this game, like nitpicking of the. Okay, it's not really nitpicking. But, no. <laughs> yeah, the spider, the ghost, the the absurdity of this episode aside. Um. The uh, the arrows, some of them really blended in, and that's the biggest problem from like a game yep. design standpoint, I think. The other mm-hmm. problem being this game wasn't a game. <laughs> no. Great visuals, but needs work. No need for the giant spiders and ghosts, though. I You know what? I don't know if I'd like it more or less if they had more or less giant spiders and ghosts. Way too easy. Uh, give it some longer gameplay and better puzzles. Good visuals, though. One star. Two stars. Says K- Kid8088, the man in blackface. <laughs> Way too easy. Give it longer gameplay and better puzzles. Good visuals, though. Oh, my God. Uh, that said no scary whatsoever. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't take a close enough look. Uh... What is this? I don't even zero. First review it ever got. Very good game, but not very scary. And I beat it, but it is a nice game. Oh, what? one sentence. So it's very good, but not very scary. And I beat it, but it's not. Uh, but it's a nice game. Is okay. So does he only beat bad games normally? Because he had to clarify with "but" after saying "I beat it, but it is a nice game." <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember once when I was doing a review of Fable, I said, yeah, so I beat this game, but don't worry, it was a good game, guys. <laughs> Normally, I only continue playing if it's garbage. <laughs> so that's it for episode 31, Risk Subway Escape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? what? The author yeah. is Play Chocolate. Oh, it was uploaded by Play Chocolate. <laughs> Let me just view all games here. No, they've only ever uploaded. Uh... Hey, look, there's the other one, the one that was on the chocolate, the girl. Oh, Emily's thrilling adventure. That's no finding Lulu. No. Anyway, that's. Uh, oh, let me turn this awesome music back on. That's it for this thrilling episode of Flash Trash. Make sure to check out the description if you want to see the playlist of every other Flash Trash we've done. Brandon, do you have any final thoughts on this game? You win! Winner! I didn't even have to type it in this time! (laughs) Until next time, have a nice day. See ya.